Hey nobles, what is going on? Today we are doing another episode of Random Websites. And today I'm going to be following up on a question I saw on Reddit. And that question was, what are the disadvantages and advantages of using Tor on different operating systems and on different devices? Such as Windows 10, Linux, Tally Linux, Tails, Ubuntu, all these different things, and Mac OS X to name a few. And I'm going to be talking about specifically today what are the pros and cons of using Tor or going into the deep web on Windows 10. And I will be talking about those today. So look forward to that in this video. Thanks for making it through the intro. I appreciate everyone that comes and watches these shows. Couldn't do it without you, nobles. I appreciate it. And the first point I'm going to be going over of Windows 10, it's a pro. On uh, So is, is Tor really safe to use on Windows 10? Is Tor really safe to use on Windows 10? Well, one of the pros is that going on the Tor browser plus going on the deep web is not illegal. So I'm going to give an, an analogy here. So going on the Tor browser is just as or just as bad as going on Google. And I say this because on Google you could email someone on Gmail or something. You could email someone some illegal stuff on Tor browser on the deep web you could go to some illegal websites or do some illegal transactions or look at some illegal stuff but going on there initially isn't bad it's what you do with that software that's bad no one said that do that going on Tor is bad now no one said that you might not be put on a list for potentially bad stuff like the NSA might put you on a list for doing bad stuff or potentially doing bad stuff just because you downloaded it but it's not initially illegal it's just what you do with it just the same as YouTube could be illegal for you because you post a video that's illegal or Google could be illegal because you're in a message with ISIS that's one of the pros is that it's not illegal and the second point I'm going to be going over and this is a con and a con is having Tor browser installed in your computer does not make your software or your computer anonymous Tor is not a VPN that connects your internet it's like having Google Chrome VPN extension that does not make your whole computer or any applications you're using anonymous or VPN enabled. You, you would have to go into separate program or Windows Store and install a VPN for your computer. Tor only has a VPN or proxy installed for itself. It's only got the Onion routers and all that stuff installed for the browser, not for your computer. Those are two separate things. Your Windows 10 and your Tor browser are two separate things when it comes to uh, VPNs. And so to be extra safe and a certain precaution you should take, you should run a VPN through your computer as well as running Tor or Deep Web or .onion services. If you're running .onion services, make sure that there's 
also a VPN for the whole computer and not just for Tor. Which is a downside because just opening up Tor does not completely make you safe so it could be potentially bad. Which is never good. So always make sure that you have that VPN installed on everything that you're using. So if you're using a computer and the programs you're using as well. So if you open up Tor, you want a VPN on there, which it has proxy and such or onion routers. And then you're, you're using your computer, so you want a VPN through your computer, which you can download some free ones, some pretty good free ones right from the Microsoft Web Store. Because we are talking about Windows 10 here. And the next point I'm going to be going over is, is it safe to use Tor on Windows 10? And that is a kind of vague question. Because is it safe? It's only as safe as the user using it. I'm going to give another analogy here. And it's like a camera. You could take extremely crappy photos with the $10,000 camera. And you could do nothing good with that $10,000 camera. Whereas with the flip phone, you could take amazing photos. It's all about you knowing how to use it. It doesn't matter what it is. The user using it is the one, not the software, not the computer. The person using it is the one that makes the tour safe. And I can go into how to do that in another video. As I said, make sure you have your VPN on through your computer and then make sure that your Onion browser is open. Because Onion, the Onion browser or the Tor browser, whatever browser you use to access those Onion sites, are actually, they are actually encrypted through the Tor browser, but your computer's not. So that could be compromised. So put a VPN through your computer and that's complete safety. And another thing that could be even more safe is loading up an operating system like Windows 10 specifically for the Onion browser. And that could make you even more safe. You can look up Onion operating or Tor operating systems on the web and look into those. And the third point, this is another con. And I'm going to be going over is Microsoft has given itself the rights to inspect any file on any computer with Windows 10. So like the NSA or like the cops or like the FBI, they have the right to come in and check your computer or to remotely check it over on their servers. And it doesn't mean that Windows 10 is not privacy it doesn't give you privacy it just means that if the option occurs that they suspect that you're doing something illegal on your computer they have the right if they have a search warrant or they have evidence they have the right to search your computer over on their servers and all of Windows 10's um, stuff is stored right on their servers just like Apple stores all your messages that you tell Siri, they store it. It doesn't mean that they leak your privacy and you're not, you don't have privacy. You have privacy. It's just that they need to improve their software and their programs and their devices. In order to do that, they need to know what the user is doing, what the user has. So they can look at analytics and data. It doesn't mean your privacy Windows 10 has great security and great privacy, but when the time comes and you're doing something illegal and they need to get in, they will. And they have that information stored, just saved, so they can go look that up. So that's a con. That's another con. So just be careful what you do on here. And if it's not illegal, you'll be fine. If it is illegal or something happens and something happens then you could potentially be searched through their servers or through their computers over on their side 
So use these pros and cons that I've discussed in this video to get the most out of the Tor browser on Windows 10. If you utilize these tips and tricks and these pros and cons to your abilities, you can have the most safe and secure experience on the Tor browser on Windows 10. And there's other tips and tricks that could better your security, and you can always look those up online. And I will see you nobles in the next video. High five. Click the circle to subscribe to my channel to get all my video notifications. Click the video to enjoy a random video from my channel. Thank you for making it to the end, and I will see you in the next video.